guys, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing? I'm doing okay. Um, doing okay. Here we are today. We are actually going to talk this week about journaling and the topic, I'm sorry, the topic is journaling. The prompt for this week is emotional. Um, <clears throat> I actually have a lot to say on this topic because I am one for journaling. Um, I journal a lot. I have my own personal journals and those journals have a lot of information in them and it's my safe place to um, just be me and just get everything out I need to. So what we're going to talk about today is I'm actually going to talk about the benefits of journaling and what um, when you write the main, uh, I, I don't call them rules, but the main things that I stick with when I write. So the first thing we're going to do, this is our April folder. I need to do more to these folders. I just, I haven't done anything to them yet, you know? And yeah, I need to do something more to this folder, but that'll be another video. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get out um, a piece of paper, and I just saw a journaling piece right there. Look at that. Perfect, right? So we're going to use this today. Um, maybe not, because it's not really what I'm looking for. Let's do, I have some ideas on how I want to do this. So, let me just look. Hmm, that might work. Let's try this one. What the heck? All right, because, you know, we know it's all about journaling. So, let me set this aside. And the first thing I want to talk about is, you know, what is journaling? Some people say, you know, you write about, well, I got up at 7 o'clock this morning, I took a shower, and then I drank some coffee, and I had an English muffins and peanut butter for breakfast, and yada, yada, yada. Okay? That's not what I consider journaling. That's not what I do as journaling. Now, look at these little goodies I found. Um... These are journaling blocks that I've had for a long, 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 long time. And I found this in the, the paper yesterday. It was in the Sunday paper. And I thought, oh, I want that. So um, we have that as well. I don't know. This may end up having to be a journal page. Because, guys, you know what? I don't think it's going to work in this unless I do it like half and half. Let's see what this looks like. So um, journaling, what is it? Journaling is actually writing down your thoughts, your feelings, and your emotions. And it actually, by journaling, it allows you to understand them much better. See, I like this. I really like that. But you know what? Let's find a different paper because that's this is not what I want. So let's go back to our book. Um, is journaling beneficial to you? Absolutely. Um, journaling is so huge in so many ways that it actually is a route to healing. You can actually start to heal by journaling. What I want to find is just a... Um, I just want to find a piece of paper that I don't mind covering over. Let's cover that one over. I'm not fond of that. So let's let's cover this one over. So yeah, it you know it it is a route to healing, and I know sometimes it's really really difficult to sit down and write in your journal because I get it. You're scared. I totally get it. What I want to do? I'm still figuring this out in my head here. All right, what I'm going to do is, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to take this piece of paper. This is just a piece of black notebook paper. I don't even know where I got this. I think a friend of mine sent it to me. It's just a notebook with black paper on it. And I'm going to take off this perforation here. You never know, I might use that for something. Who knows? And I want to... I'm going to tape it down right here, or glue it down right here. Because I want this page to be this kind of black. So let's do that. Grab the glue stick. 
And um, we're going to keep talking about journaling because, boy, I'll tell you, if it was not for my journals, um, I honestly think I would still be really messed up over this whole chronic pain accident, losing job, slash living this lifestyle for the rest of my life deal. Um, my journals, let me just, let me back up. Let me back up. Um, what is it? We talked about it's writing down your thoughts and your feelings to better understand them, to understand yourself more. If you suffer with anxiety, depression, um, keeping a journal can actually help you to keep the pain under control, to understand your emotions, and it will actually improve your mental health. Now, does this mean the first time you go sit down and write, everything's going to be all roses? No, that's not what this means. Um, what this means is when you sit down to write, it's going to be difficult at first. It's not easy to trust that piece of paper, okay? Um, it's very difficult. When I first started writing, I wrote stuff that was basically generic. That's the only way I can describe it is it was just generic. And I am going to poke these holes before I do this so I know where they are. Hold on. I'm going to poke these ones out so I know where they are on the other side. So, um, yeah, it takes time. It, it takes time to get comfortable with the process. It takes time to understand that something you may write, you may not like, but it's okay. It's you. It's your thoughts. It's, um, it's not easy. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it is because it's not. It is not easy to sit down and write your thoughts and feelings. You know, I'm having a really bad day. I hate my body. I, you know, um, I feel like, you know, I, I'm, I'm not part of society. All of those, those bad feelings as we call them. Um, it's not easy to sit down and face them because I think what happens is when you write about them, you have to face them. And I think that's where the difficult part comes in to a lot of people that begin to journal and then stop journaling because honestly they don't really want to face those feelings and again I am not let me back up a little bit more I am NOT a professional I am NOT a counselor um, I'm telling you from my own experience and from experience of my friends around me this is what I see and what I feel about journaling so we'll get that right out of the way that I'm not I am NOT a professional um, counselor so um, I'm just sharing with you my journey. So, all right. I love it. So now, see all the glue? That's okay. I just, I really want this on here. I need to get rid of that orange on the ends. So let's grab some black paint if I can find it. Uh, every color under the sun except black. I know there's one in here. Do, 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 do. Bear with me, guys. There's some black, but all right, that'll work. All right. So I just want to take a little bit of black paint. Get my coffee out of here. See, it's morning. Got up this morning, and I said, I need to talk about this. I need to write about this. So let's just throw, I'm going to throw a little bit of black paint over here on this paper. And then I'm just going to take some. Just get rid of those orange corners, right? Yeah, I'm going to end up gluing the rest of this down, but for right now, I'm just working on getting the corners done. This is a work in progress, right? Move over things. So, back to what we were talking about with the emotional journaling. It's difficult. Somebody's banging. Don't get me wrong. It's very difficult. But um, you can do it. I know you can. So, have you heard of people saying, oh, yeah, you know, I journal every day. And, 
and you ask them, what do you journal about? Well, I talk about, you know, how my day went, that kind of thing. Again, this is not what I do. Um, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I'll be like, yeah, you know, we went to um, an antique shop today and I found this blah, blah, blah. But most of the time um, when I journal, I, don't, I not only do the memorabilia type journaling, but I also do the, um, you know, I feel like crap today journaling. All right, so what I'm going to do is I want this right here. Look at that. I put that paper upside down. I don't care. We're going to glue this in here, and I want it just like that. I'm thinking, hold on just a second. Let me think about this for a second. All right, so plans have changed a little bit on this. I see what I want, this is upside down for me. I see what I want to do, but I can't do it with this hole. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this right down the middle, or at least what I consider the middle. Close enough. Off. All right, so now, next thing I'm going to do, this is my first page. I'm going to bend this just like that. And then I want to darken this page up. So I'm just going to use my baby wipe, maybe, and get all the paint on, or just my finger, which is going to end up having to be it. Let's just use my finger, or a brush. So there are so many different um, ways you can journal. You can do it on a computer. You can sit each morning and you know keep a like a little log on the computer. Me personally, I'm not one to do that because I like the idea of sitting down and actually having paper and writing and so and to be honest with you, I think by writing out those feelings and writing out those issues and those emotions, I think you get more out of it um, by the actual physical writing instead of, um, you know, just doing it on a computer. But again, to each his own. You can choose whichever way you want. Um, so, you know, there there's so many benefits to journaling and... I, you know, I have told many, many friends, um, I've seen some friends struggle, you know, with depression and anxiety and, and, you know, I get it. I understand. Uh, um, I have depression. I get it. I know what it is. I understand what it's like. But had I not started journaling several years ago, probably six, eight years ago now, um, I would have been in a lot rougher shape than I am today. And that's just not only physically, but mentally as well. Let me dry this up and we'll be right back. All right, so now I have this strip here and I really want to put it kind of back on this page, but I want to put it on this side. So what I'm gonna do is take my glue stick and just run it down this side. And then I don't want it right side up. I'm doing this intentionally. I want to put it upside down. And I just want to glue it down. Come on. There we go. There. I like it. I like it. So let me just. What do I get going on here? The glue's not sticking to that. Make sure it sticks, or the paint, I mean. All right. So I'm going to get some journaling blocks out, and I'm going to get some white paint. And what we're going to do is I am going to write down kind of like, I don't really want to say rules, but rules. <laughs> what I do when um, I journal and different things that I follow. Now I cut this out of the paper yesterday and it was just a quick hack job so now I'm just going to go through and trim it up. 
and um, then we'll put it on our page. I love this old typewriter. I really wish I still had my, um, I had a Smith Corona typewriter back when I was in high school and I love that thing. Yeah, where is it today? Hmm. Probably sitting in a thrifty store somewhere or, you know, gosh, all I know is. Alright. I'm going to leave that piece of paper in there. Meaning this part right here, just because I can. So I want to glue this down right here. So I'm going to start with just by throwing out some glue on this. My glue stick. Put the bottom down first and then we'll put our top down. Just use a good amount of glue. I don't like it when things fall off. So, although I noticed the other day with my worry dolls that I made, Gina's leg fell off hers and that made me feel so bad. Darn it, but that's what happens when you play with wire. Sometimes it doesn't want to bend the way you want it to. All right, so here's our cover. We're gonna talk about emotion, emotional journaling. So let's grab, I'm gonna grab my journaling blocks and I'm gonna find some white paint. So that means I need my doo -doo -doo, uh, dilly plate, which is right here. So I'm actually gonna take my jelly plate, put some white paint on it, and then use these journaling blocks to stamp. Still gotta move on that side. So, Here's my jelly plate. Put you aside for right now. Here's my white gesso. I don't want gesso, I want paint. Here's my white paint. Rough paint. Put a little bit of paint on here. And this is basically, I'm spreading it out so that um, I just have a nice even coat. Looks like there's a Know what that is. All right. Now let's take our block. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to. Aren't oh, that cool? Show you and explain what I do. Let's take a print of that. I just happen to have some index cards right here that I've played around and glued some stuff on. So let's just take a print. You know, we can't waste that, you know. Eh, it works. All right. Um, so there's six things that I that I kind of um, have made my rules per se. The first one is if I'm going to write in a journal, I need to be truthful, and that doesn't mean sugarcoating things. That doesn't mean only telling part of a story. That means telling it all. Um, if I say I'm having um, you know a really bad day. I'm going to put um, in my journal exactly how I'm feeling if something has upset me, if someone has upset me, if, if I just can't take it anymore. It's all going to go in my journal and it's all going to go in exactly how I'm feeling. So that is huge. You have, I say you have, I have to be truthful when it comes to writing in my journals. The way I look at it is if I'm not truthful, what's the sense of writing? All right, I, I, I can't see any reason why I should A, waste time, space, money, pens, papers, whatever the case may be, these suckers are hard to get off. Sometimes they sit for too long and then they're like that. So 
that is my um, one of my main rules. If I'm going to write, I want it to be a true story. Right? A true story. Well, I like that better on this one. Um, I want it to... I want to tell all of my feelings. I want to get it all out and understand why I'm feeling that way and make sure that... Um, man, these are killing me. It's been a while. Holy crud. Um, I just want to make sure that everything that's on that page is my true inside me. This is how I'm feeling type of deal. Okay. So that's, that's one of my main sticklers when I sit down and write is I have to be truthful to myself. Um, another thing that I always do, and I'm really glad I've done this because I've had to go back and look at times. Um, and that is date, date your, your writings. Um, put a date on it. You know, and and you can actually start seeing different patterns when you put dates on them, and you are very truthful in what you're feeling and in what you're thinking and all of that. You will actually begin to find um, patterns, and you can find the patterns of, you know, uh, this was a really stressful day for me or a stressful week. Oh, geez, look, I had to go to the doctor. I had, you know, to fight an insurance company to get my medication filled. Um, you know, oh, now I see why I had those fibro flares. I see why um, I'm really stressed out. And, and you start to see a pattern evolve about, you know, how you're feeling and why you're feeling the way you're feeling as long as you date your entries. So that's something that I always do. Um, you know, it's just a little thing. Sometimes I will write the day, the time. Um, a lot of times I'll write the time because I've noticed in my journaling, if I can't sleep, um, I will see my journal entries be at like 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. And that shows me that, oh, I was having a really difficult night that night. And here's what I did to, you know, to take care of it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I need one more because I got six. Um, the second, uh, I'm sorry, the third thing that I do is I don't have to worry about this so much because I've actually um, given my journals to my husband to read because, you know, I want him to understand. And, and we have that type of a relationship where I'm very comfortable with him reading whatever I'm writing. I mean, it's me. I, I talk to him about everything else anyway. So, um but one of the concerns that I've heard from people about journaling is protecting your privacy. Well, I don't want my husband to read it. I don't want, you know, my kids to get a hold of it. Well, what happens when I'm gone? Who's going to read it? Okay, several things. If you're concerned about that, one, find a place where you can put your journal where your husband doesn't need to get to it. Okay? Um, you know, mine actually sit right behind me here, which is fine. Um, I'm just going to take up this paint because I don't want it to be wasted. Just take it up. Um, you know, find, find a place in your home or wherever you can that you feel comfortable leaving those private thoughts and journals, okay? Maybe you can find a, you know, a... Firebox, you know, the fireboxes that they have that have a lock on them, um, you know, for personal belongings in case of a fire. See if you can find one of those. You know, anything that somewhere you can put it or even, you know, talk to your spouse about it and say, hey, you know, this is my private things. I really don't want you to, you know, most likely your husband is going to respect that, um, you know, and you really, privacy can't be a main issue for you to worry about when you're sitting down and doing this type of journaling. Let me just try these up real quick. Just want to make sure that they're really dry when I start writing on them. All right. Yeah, so they're pretty dry. So I'm going to leave that right there for now. All right, the um, 
the fourth kind of rule that I have for myself is I make sure whatever I write on my, um, I'm just going to set this aside for right now, whatever I write in my journal, I don't take it and throw it away. I keep it. Um, I make sure that it, I make sure that I have it so that I can look back on it and I can see where I was and, you know, where I'm going to. Now, some people will say to you, oh no, take it and, you know, burn it in a bonfire or, um, you know, just rip it up and throw it away. Um, art journal over it. Yeah, you could do that. But what we're talking about is a different type of a journaling. Art journaling, I consider somewhere that, yeah, I can go in and I can vent and then I can just, you know, play with it, cover it up and let it go. This isn't what I'm talking about. And this pen is not doing anything to this page. So you know what? We're just going to not worry about it. That pen really stinks. It's a queen. Came from, I'd say, China or Japan, but it looks things. All right. I'll deal with that later. Let's go ahead and do the writing in here. Um, so as I was saying, keep, keep what you write. Don't get rid of them. Don't get rid of your pages. Don't think, oh my gosh, that's awful. The grammar is awful. You know, no, don't worry about that. I just, these are my graphic pens and I just want to shake them up. All right. Still want pink. See why I want to shake them up? They're separated. So keep what you write. Don't throw it away. Um, and that's one of the reasons that I use composition notebooks for my journaling is because then I don't have to worry about it. I'm not ruining a great big, um, a beautiful journey journal. I'm not ruining any, you know, thing I write. It's a composition notebook. I write in it. I yell in it. Um, I scream in it. I swear in it. Yeah, I do. Um, everything. It's all there. All of those feelings are all there. And it's okay. Um, I can actually go back and look at it from time to time. And it's amazing the stuff you learn about yourself. All right. So the first one was be truthful to you. To you. And that's the first and foremost. I'll doodle around with these in a bit. All right, the second one I said was date your entry. And to me, that's a big one. Um, you know, like I said, we, we talked about that. So keep what you write. That was number four. Um, number five is to write quickly. Now, that sounds kind of strange because um, you're like, well, I want to I want to have a nice, neat handwriting and I want all the grammar correct. No, that's not what emotional journaling is about. All right, so I'm going to put in here date. I'm just writing these down. I forgot to write them while I, well, I was working on it. So date. Your journal. All right, so that's dating your journal. I just want to write these down before we keep going. Um, let's do a light blue. Let's see, protect your privacy. Come on. I know there's more in there than that. This pen is being sucked right in by this paint, or this paint. Protect your privacy. This paper is sucking this pen right in. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. That's funny. That's all right. We got it. So protect your privacy. Number four was keep what you write. Let's see. Um, number five was write quickly. 
So, like I said, I sit down and there's times I'll just start blah, 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 and it's not whole sentences, it's not whole thoughts. Um, it's all over the place. Come on. I haven't used these pens in a while, I can tell. I gotta start using them again. Okay, keep. This one's not gonna work. What? You right uh, I wonder if the yellow will work on here let's try silver um, right quickly okay so we just talked about that so right quickly come on what's the deal every time I do a video I have a problem with pens there we go right quickly and number six and this this is I think actually probably should have been number one is the all essential um, <clears throat> what I call my rule when you start journaling when you start writing you need to keep writing so start writing You need to keep writing. And like I said, the reason behind that is when I very first started writing in my journal, I would say like, um, today's a beautiful day outside, the sun's shining, um, I made a nice dinner, we had a good time, all right, time for bed, all right. Then as it evolved, I got more into, you know, my back is really bothering me today. It makes me feel angry. I'm very frustrated because I can't do the vacuuming today. Um, that kind of stuff. The more you write, the easier it will get. And the more you will learn about yourself. You'll learn about your emotions. You'll learn about your feelings. You learn about what makes you happy, what makes you sad. Um, you learn. So the longer you do it, the more you're going to learn. And pardon me, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> pardon me. <laughs> that one came out of nowhere. Um, so these are what I call my six rules um, of, of my emotional journaling. I want to dry this real quick and then we, I want to play around with this. I don't, I need some doodles. <laughs> so I'll be right back. All right, guys, so what I want to do is I want to play with this a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I am going to fast forward through my play. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and um, we're going to talk about what the different benefits are from emotional um, journaling. And it's very interesting. Um, these again, these are things that I've found out. And I really hope that I can share with you guys and um, it will benefit you as well. I'm trying to find my block. Here's my big one. I just, I want to put some stuffs on here, right? There goes the car, you hear that one? I live in South Carolina now and they don't have to have inspections down here. Well, let me tell you, some of the vehicles they drive, <laughs> funny. You know, they're held together with bungee straps. I guess I'm not going to fast forward. I guess I'm going to chit chat. Um, they're held together with bungee straps and duct tape and <laughs> things like that. And it just cracks me up. Cracks me up. Looks like a car that I would have had back when I was younger. So, um, but yeah, we're going to talk about the benefits, what the benefits are to doing all this this um, emotional journaling. You know, I would love to hear, have you done this? Have you done the emotional journaling? If you have, what have you found? Um, you know, what, what have you found out about the way you journal? Have you found out that um, you've learned things about yourself? This does not want to stay on there. I'd say it's because the top is icky. So I just throw these in a drawer. So let's try that again. Is that going to stay on there? Probably not. So we'll just do this. 
So what have you found out about your journaling? Um, do you do you only journal once in a while? Do you um, are you honest in your journaling? Do you enjoy journaling? And it's so funny because even like last night, um, got ready, went to bed, and and I flipped and flopped and flipped and flopped. And my husband says to me, "Go journal." <laughs> And I mean, I didn't even mention anything. He just, he knew that I had a lot on my mind, just different thoughts. And you know, I've heard people say, well, my mind never shuts off. It just keeps going and going and going. Yeah, it does. Well, you know what? Journaling, you get all of that stuff out and you don't have to worry about it. So that is, you know, another benefit of it is to get your mind to shut off. Because I found out once I write stuff down, even if it's just like, Tomorrow I have to go to the grocery store and then I have to go to the bank. I got to stop at the post office. Oh, I can't forget to make an appointment to get my, um, you know, oil change, that kind of stuff. I don't write all that in my journal, but I will come out here and I will sit down and I'll make a list of things that I need to do tomorrow. And then I will take, um, I like this one. Oh no, let's do circles. I want a different color. So let's put a different color down here. You know, I will, um, write all those lists down and stuff and then everything's good then I can go back in I can go to bed my mind is clear and I don't have to worry about it I don't know why I'm choosing dark colors let's go lighter um, let's do a light blue some of these paints are so old I've had them forever so I'm really trying hard to use them up because yeah I don't need these paints hanging around much longer there's a cat hair Huh, Abby, was that you? She says, I wanted to be in the journaling, Mom. See, it's still there. Where are you? Right there. There we go. All right. So, yeah, just, you know, writing stuff down is, is huge. Let's take... Oops. And let's just kind of randomly... Throw it out there. Oops, that one didn't work well. I'll try it again. It works. Um, a couple things I do. I'm actually going to show you a couple of my journals here in a minute. I will grab. I'll actually grab my most current one, and I'll show you. Um, you know what I do. Recently, I haven't been doing a whole lot of emotional journaling because I've pretty much figured out what causes my fibro to flare and I figured out what I need to do to take care of it and that kind of stuff. So, oh, I'm going to put a heart in here. Let's find a different color though. Let's find a different color. I'm just going to take, I thought I had cards here. We'll use this card again. This is just index cards that I've um, glued a bunch of stuff to, and I've got some ideas of what I want to do with these. Um, so, yeah, they're just sitting up there out of the way. All right, so I want to do what I just say I want to do. Do, 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 do. Oh, a heart. Where's my heart? Right here. So let's find some real bright pink. How about some real bright pink? How about some Dina Wakely bright pink? Love my Dina Wakely paints. Not happy that she's taking them out of these, well, not her, but not happy that the tubes are going away. Not happy at all about that. Um, I don't want little bottles. I want tubes. That's why I really like them. But, hey, it is what it is. Right? All right. Yeah, I like it. Just a little, just a little heart. So yeah, you definitely can empty your mind um, when you journal. And you know, sometimes it's like, uh, it's, I'm not saying it's gonna, it's not the, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not a, um, it's not a cure for, everything that's in your head it's not a cure for 
depression or anxiety or bipolar or, um, you know, any other mental illness that comes along. It's not a cure, but let me tell you from experience, it is huge, 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 huge. It has huge benefits. Can I say that again? I cannot stress enough how journaling can change your life. It, it really can. All right, let me dry this up. I'm going to grab a couple of my journals, and then we'll be right back, and we're going to work on the back side. And actually, instead of free play today on the back side, um, what I'm going to do is I want to go through, um, just talk about what the therapeutic values are of journaling. Okay, so let me dry this up. i got to get rid of this paint, and I will be right back. All right, so what I did is, this is the back one. Um, I just painted it the black and I'm letting it sit here and dry. I'm gonna do more doodling and stuff on that, but it's gonna be a bit. Um, so while this back side dries, uh, I just, like I said, I told you I'm gonna show you a couple of my old journals. Um, these old journals, I'll be honest, I did a ton, ton, ton of writing, right? Um, this was kind of when I started out, Monday's Not Magical, had an appointment with the attorney, that kind of stuff. Really need to learn the art of self-love. I get tired of beating myself up, okay? So that's just um, an idea. And then, this is, this is a lot of writing, and I'm just going to quick flip through. A lot of writing, some, um, some memorabilia keeping, just a ton, a ton, ton, ton of writing. Here's a hamburg. <laughs> it's a long story. Um, but this is kind of what my journals look like, okay? They're just a lot of, a lot of memory keeping, a lot of, um, that was when they first started, all right? That was a smash book. And I actually have a few more of these that eventually I'll use. That's one. Um, this one, uh, remember we talked about, I said something about um, screaming and yelling. As you can see, my I was really, really, really upset on this. And it had to do with workers' comp. Um, it had to do with uh, probably them not paying a bill for one of my medications. Um, that kind of stuff. Uh, again, this journal is full of writing. Some memorabilia, some, you know... Um, but mostly writing, um, some postcards or some cards that I got, that kind of stuff, right? So there's another one. And again, these, that doesn't go there, that goes here. Um, these <laughs> have so much of me in them, it's not funny. So then, then after I started playing with the Smash books, I decided that I wanted to, um, I wanted to go to a different style book. And this is just like a little notebook. I'm not even sure why that's there. Um, this is just a little notebook. And here's where I actually started doing more um, mixed media in them, a lot of writing. I don't do as much writing, but like, for example, all right, uh, it's been a few days since I've written. I've been dealing with extreme pain this week. It's in my lower back and in my hips. This morning, both hips are killing me. Um, we think my fibro as well as the back pain and maybe arthritis. So I'll give it time to calm down again. I don't have any other choice. Um, a lot easier talking about, um, not sure what's up with the low energy. I'm exhausted. Um, things like that. Uh, so I pretty much, I can write whatever I want in these. And this was actually, um, a trip to a friend of mine's different things. I bought a Pandora. That was my, um, our tickets to a hockey game, I think it was, but you know, things like that. So my journals have evolved. They've went from 90% of writing to a variety of mixed media and that kind of stuff. This is my current journal. This is a custom keeper from Shannon, um, Shannon Green. And I've actually uh, altered it 
it Shannon makes them to fit four um, books in them. I didn't want four. I just wanted one composition notebook. So I just I cut the sides down. I made it the size I needed it, and it's all good. So this is a current journal, and again, it's just a composition notebook. Let me see what I got going on in here. Um, okay, I was playing around with some embossing powders. Um, this is some writing that I did, some different art, my new art space. Uh, let's see, this is just more in order to get my license. Um, I'm doing a lot more memorabilia kind of stuff. I do, don't get me wrong, I do still write. And um, right here, today's been a rough one. My whole body, both physically and mentally, it's like it aches all over hurts all over. I'm thinking it's fibro, but I wish I knew for sure. Um, so, you know, you don't have to just scream at yourself in these things. You can, you know, take um, parts of your life and just enjoy, you know. It's not all about um, just writing. It's not always about that. It's about, okay, I found this little piece of paper in my drawer. January 23rd of 2015, I uploaded my first video to YouTube. Okay, so I stuck that in here. Did a little bit of art in here. Um, it's not all about, this was when um, my kitty cat passed away, Buster, and um, the vet sent a donation to Cornell University. So journaling doesn't have to be strictly, woe is me, I hate my life, I can't do this anymore, um, that kind of stuff. Journaling can be a documentation of your life or a way that you're documenting your life. It doesn't have to be all bad, and it doesn't have to be all good either. You can have a variety of both. So now what I'm going to do on this, first thing I want to do is I want to put this typewriter. Now am I going to do this this way and then this way? Yeah. Oops, I gotta trim up this typewriter. So let me tell you what um, journaling the the emotional benefits, the therapeutic benefits of it are. Okay. Um, first thing it does is it allows you to look at yourself. When I go back and I look at some of those entries, I think, wow, I remember being there. I remember that day. It was so good. We had such a great day. It was a happy memory. It doesn't have to be all bad memories. It can be good memories. It can be blah days. It can be great days. It can be so-so days. It can be, you know, not even talking about the day. You can put whatever you want into those journals and let the journal be your safe place to be you, right? So... It, it lets you focus on the internal emotions, experience, thoughts, feelings. Journaling is phenomenal for that. It allows you to see who you really are. Um, does it go through certain emotions that maybe you don't want to look at? Yeah. But, you know, you're going to find out you feel a heck of a lot better once you go through those emotions and you feel those things that you don't want to feel and you um, get through those things that are rough, okay? Um, I have found for me that without journaling, I would be in a very dark place right now. I don't like the fact that this, see this right here? So we're going to put some kind of a washi there because I don't like the fact that it's coming up. So let's grab, oh, i got to move my keyboard. Oops, get back there, you. All right, I've got some just washi here. This is my extra drawer of washi, <laughs> my extra basket of washi. I've been trying to use it up, so... You know what, let's put this caution in here. And the reason I'm going to put this caution, I'm not, no, I don't. I don't want the keep out. Um, change my mind on that because we don't want to keep out of our journal. We want to stay in our journal. At least I do. A benefit, you can get emotional and mental clarity 
It allows you to understand why you're feeling what you're feeling. It allows you to figure out what to do with it. Now, this does not take place of any um, mental health um, doctors or counselors or any of that, but it's huge in helping you figure out who you are and your feelings and like I said, it's your safe place to be. I'm just putting some of this on here because I can. Let's put some right there. So if you can't tell, I'm a huge proponent of journaling. <laughs> All right, so there's one, here's two. Now what are we gonna use for, I wanna use something for the different benefits. I think I'm just gonna write. So let me do this. Let me find the pens that I actually want to use, which are my gel pens, which I don't see them. I see everything but. Um, there's a gel pen. Here's a white pen. Wait, Uniball signal. All right, so we're going to talk about the therapeutic benefits, which we. Um, Okay, so you get to focus on you. All right. Um, you can get emotional clarity. Okay, another thing is you get a deeper understanding of yourself, which is so true. Um, another thing it does for me, it makes me feel calmer. Oops, pen stopped writing. Okay. Um, it also helps me to solve problems. This pen is almost gone. it helps me with my creativity. And I say that because I get all of the stuff out of my mind that I don't have to worry about, so then I can just focus on being creative and having fun, right? I also think um, it allows us to organize our thoughts. Um, what else do we talk about? Um, we can track patterns. Okay, because when you're writing and you start reading back over what you've wrote, you can actually see the stress level or the when a fibro flare clone comes or what, um, you know, what you can you can see the patterns of what's happening with you mentally and physically. Um, so with those, we can track the patterns. And once we track the patterns, um, I think it gives us an opportunity to solve or at least um, understand the causes of, of whatever the issue may be that you're noticing the pattern of. Um, let's say it's depression. Maybe you find out every Sunday you're, you're really, you know, down in the dumps. Okay, let's figure out what's going on Sunday. Oh yeah, on Sundays, um, you know, your friends are busy and they're with their families and you're all alone and, um, you know, you're finding out that that's the day that you express that inner bleh, okay? I'm just throwing out ideas. Um, but again, it'll help you determine what those patterns are and maybe give you an idea to say, okay, well, geez, I guess I'm, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> pardon me. Um, I guess on Sundays, I better, you know, make myself a little bit busier. 
okay so that's just an idea of what the patterns will do and um, how you may be able to solve them let's see what else does it do um, I think the biggest thing uh, therapeutic is it allows us um, I'm going to say it allows me, it allows me to be in a safe place. Um, it allows me to express myself 100% true. Oh, my pen's almost gone. And I think that right there in itself is the biggest reason anybody should pick up a journal. All right, so that's that's what I see and that's what I feel the benefits are of emotional journaling. Like I said, it, it allows me to get those things out. All right, so now since we've got all this lovely stuff here, what I want to do is I need to play. I'm in the mood to play with this. Um before I put it in my book. I really hope everything that I've talked about here today, I really hope it, it I don't wanna say strikes a nerve, but I hope that you get some type of an understanding out of it. And I hope that by talking about it, maybe, just maybe, um, you will wanna go out and grab a journal and say, ooh, let me, you know, let me try this. I think I can do this. Um, but like I said, it's when you first start, you have to stick with it. Um, and again, you know, it doesn't have to be all writing. It doesn't have to be just, you know, woe is me. You know, I had a great day today. Oh, geez, something funny happened on Easter Sunday. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, it doesn't have to be just a therapeutic journal. Okay. Um, I've decided long ago that that's not what mine is. I want mine to be able to just play and have fun and that kind of thing. And that's what I do. So let me go ahead. I'm going to play some more with this. First, I'm going to dry that now that I just did that. <laughs> and I'll be back.
guys, so I just had fun playing with this. My fine liner is pretty well dry. Um, what I'm going to do is just, here's the front. Um, you know, I might actually, let's take the fine liner and I'm just going to write on here. Um, actually, yeah, I'll do it. And then when I get to, once that dries, I'm going to go ahead and just do a, a doodle on the back here as well with the teal. And then I'll be able to go ahead and put it in my book. But, you know, I really hope um, some of the information that I gave you today, I hope it helps. And I really, you know, hope you take a shot and try doing some journaling. And like I said, when you start, don't stop. Um, just work at it. it. It does take time to get into the groove of journaling. It's not something you have to do every day. Um, let me just put on here. This is emotions, and I'm going to write through here journaling. And there's my R. All right, so like I said, you know, definitely give it a try. And had it not been for my journaling, I really, I don't know where I would be. So as always, you know, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, all of that stuff. Um, and next week we're going to have another prompt about journaling, and that's going to be fun as well. So as always, take care. Have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.